This video will demonstrate using CSS or cascading style sheets to change the text font size. Being able to display the text on your HTML documents the way you want them to look is an important part of keeping site visitors on the site and coming back to the site. Sometimes a bit of text should be larger or smaller than the surrounding text to convey something to the site visitor. You want a certain paragraph to stand out, so you want the font size to be larger than the rest on the page. Or you want to set the font so that it is automatic larger when viewed by a site visitor with visual impairment. Here, let's open up our editor and have a look at how to change the font size. But first, I want to point out that there are a few ways to set the size of your font. That's with points, pixels, or the recommended way, and that's with M's or EM. Points and pixels are more of an absolute where M's are more relative to the visitor's browser settings. For example, if the visitor has vision problems and has set their browser to display text larger than normal, then you're better off using the M's. With this in mind, I suggest just sticking to using the M's in all cases. Now, 1 EM is equal to the browser's current font size, and 16 pixels is the default text size on most browsers, but when a visitor has set their browser font size larger, then using 1 EM will equal the same size as all of the other text being displayed in that browser's changed font size setting. So for example, 0.5 EM will be smaller and 2 EM will be larger. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to the editor here. And right now you can see that I've got the content between the opening H1 tag and closing H1 tag set to 40 pixels. And for the H2 tag, 30 pixels. And for the paragraph tag, that's these two paragraphs here, We've got both of those set at 19 pixels for the content between the opening and closing P tags. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in our browser, or in this case, in Komodo. And this is what it looks like. Now, if I did not have the P tag set, then it would be, by default, 16 pixels, which would be a little bit smaller than this, which is 19 pixels. Now, let's take a look at the same thing using M's. And now for a little math, remember I had said that 16 pixels is the default size of the text in most browsers? Well, if you were to take the 40 pixels that was defining the H1 tag and divide that by 16, you'll get 2.5 EM. So the 2.5 EM will be the exact same size as the 40 pixels was. Likewise, with the H2 tag and the 30 pixels, Divide that by 16, you're going to get 1.875 EM. And for the 19 pixels for the paragraph tag, that's going to equal 1.1875 EM. So whenever I save this, you should not see any change in these sizes down here. And there you go. So if you wanted this to be really small for the paragraph, just make that 0.1875. And that's pretty darn small. So let's bring that guy back up to normal size, or what I like to call normal anyway. Now this will work in most every single browser right now, but just to be on the super safe side of things, if you were to add one more tag in our CSS, it will make it 100% positive that it will work in every single browser. And that is styling the body text at 100%. And if we save this, we'll see that there won't be any changes down here, because you've already seen that this works fine in this browser. But if you have some odd browser out there where it may not recognize EM or it may not recognize point or pixels, well, this way it will. But like I said, in most cases, you'll be able to get by just fine without this. But I'd say it takes a split second to add it. So go ahead and add this into your styling and you'll be fine as wine. And this is the end of our video on changing the font size of your HTML documents text using CSS.